It's no use. I need to cut off the blood flow by taking off her head or severing the connection between the aorta and the vena cava. If this doesn't work, nothing will. Toshio, these were the guys who did it, right? They killed my son. You're sure about this? I'm sure. Right here? Move it a bit. There. Stop squirming! This is a warning meant for me. They're telling me not to go any further. And... Yes, that's it, right there. Please, Dad! Stop! Forgive me! Please forgive me! I'm sorry! Not so she! escaped and hidden the pipeline. Come on, I'll take you there. What's going on? Gunfire! <laughs> Mr. Okawa, watch out! <laughs> Duck! <laughs> She's hit! This guy has a pulse! Hold him down! Mr. Okawa! He's the same as that damn kid Ashiki traitor! He's working with them! Move it!
Just waiting. Waiting? For a Jean Row like you to pass my way.
think that anyone from outside the village is some kind of freak? You don't even realize how backwards and lame you all are! I hate this place. A village like this shouldn't even be allowed to exist! Why was I born here instead of in a city? I hate Soja Bob! I've always hated this damn village! You might belong here, but I don't! I deserve better than this you! Drawn this out long enough. She... she really is one of those creatures though, right? Yeah, of course she is. If she was human, she'd be long dead by now. Don't worry, she's Shiki. I was there the day of her funeral procession. I'm going to send you back to the hell you came from! You'll never rise up again, Shiki! What you really had planned from the beginning, wasn't it? But, Jinro don't die from something like this. Inconvenient, huh? You don't need to do this. Aren't you afraid of dying? I've been dead for some time now. This is what a world ruled by order looks like. Those who accept order can live together peacefully, protected from the unknown, safe in their belief that all is as it should be. But when something happens to threaten this orderly existence, they will fight to the very death. By eliminating the threat, they hope to preserve the fabric of their lives, the order that holds their entire world together. And so they realize what a fragile world it is.